let's start with the Snowden thing. Uh, who watched the uh, special last night? Yeah, good. Uh, what were your thoughts? NBC built it up as uh, Patriot or Traitor, and you had to choose one. It was like, uh, I mean, I, I think there's probably a gray area in there, but I mean, he came across I, better than I would have ever expected him to. I just think he, he spoke um, in measured tones and accurately. And um, that, that segment on the cell phone where Brian Williams said, what can be done? And he said, they own you. And they, they can turn it on. And you, know, you don't think that they care about your sports scores, but they do. And who you're next to? The NSA, the Russian intelligence service, the Chinese intelligence service, any intelligence service in the world that has significant funding and a real technological research team can own that phone the minute it connects to their network. As soon as you turn it on, it can be theirs. They can turn it into a microphone. They can take pictures from it. They can take the data off of it. But it's important to understand that these things are typically done on a targeted basis, right? It's only done when people go, this phone is suspicious. I think it's being held by a drug dealer. I think it's being used by a terrorist. Can anyone turn it on remotely if it's off? Can they turn on apps? Did anyone know or care that I Googled the final score of the rangers Canadiens game last night because I was traveling here? I would say uh, yes to all of those. I thought that was chilling. Look at the VA scandal. The VA scandal, they're going to try to turn this into, well, see, we tried that private sector idea where we give you bonuses and uh, you'll make money on that. And that's why we can't have any of that. No, no. You know what the real problem is? There's no one to run to. There's no one to run to. There's nobody in the VA. There's no, you can't go to the VA administration. You can't go to the press. You can't go to Congress. You can't go to your you can't go to your CO. You can't go to anybody, because there's there's no alternative for you, and everybody's in on the game. Did you see what happened at West Point? Oh, with the welcome. Yeah. Whew. But I mean, you talk about trust, and where do you turn if you have your graduating military class that doesn't trust your administration? I was shocked that he didn't in the entire 45 minute speech did not mention the VA scandal or anything related to vet I mean it said the word veterans twice in the speech but did not even mention anything about you know benefits and medical and you know the situation that we're currently going through he doesn't care about the veterans because if he cared about the veterans if he was mad as hell in my office tomorrow we're going to fix this and if you don't fix it and you don't fix it and you don't fix it you're all gone. You're all gone. That's it. Done. Well, he obviously doesn't care about the veterans. He, uh, he threw a rope around the monument for the 90-year-old veterans that just wanted to go see the Washington, you know, World War II memorial. The thing he does use is the active military. There's this new directive out. I know. You see this? You guys see this? New presidential directive that that um, allows the president to turn the military loose, including the use of drones, on the U.S. public should there be civil unrest. He can um, call on the military and use drones. They are not to be armed drones at this time. Because Just because we have the biggest hammer doesn't mean everything's a nail. <laughs> he's got a phone, he's got a pen, and he's got a hammer. Oh, just one other thing on the speech. I, 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 it was just interesting in the same day that Snowden speaks out for the first time in the year, the president, even in that speech, was talking about transparency, and we're going to you know, have more transparency when it comes to drones and, and surveillance. And it's like, it, it, I mean, even the New York Times editorial board wrote that uh, that part was ludicrous. His administration had to be dragged into even minimal disclosures on both topics. I mean, it just, it, it, it's, it's amazing that he's even talking about transparency when nothing's been done in this last year since the Snowden revelations. There's no way for this to last. That Montel Williams interview, 
most honest interview I've ever seen. I've, I've never seen someone have that much passion about a topic and just want to be heard. That's all he wanted was to be heard. You know what's incredible? Is about three years ago, I said, we got to put our swords down and we have to start coming together and we have to start looking for people who we don't agree with because there will come a time when we will start coming back together. And now to see it happen is incredible. When we start really putting that together, 70% of this nation is back and united. And, th and once the government figures that one out, watch out, because they will accelerate all of the dark stuff that they're doing. I think um, we should definitely uh, hit on the, um, the brain chip that DARPA's developing um, to treat PTSD, uh, PTSD for the military. Uh, I think they're because it's five years for away from a prototype or something like that. But given the context, we're talking about all this information gathering, what they already have on us, and you, know, you look at the events like this uh, UC uh, Santa Barbara shooting, and then something like this where they're going to be monitoring your brain waves within five years. They say this will be the cure for PTSD and depression. They've got $26 million going towards this program Who to implant in their right brain mind? chips. Who in their right mind would do that? It is 1984, a brave new world, minority report. We are living in a time where all of these things are actually becoming real. Just the precogs are a computer, not in a milk bath. Heavenly Father, we come before the unbended knee this morning to um, praise you and to thank you for another day, another good night's sleep for good friends and good co-workers, great country, and the understanding that so few in the world have of what freedom really is. We would ask, Lord, that you would um, protect those who are trying to do their best. We would ask that you would open our hearts to see the goodness and decency in others. We ask that you would protect our vets, that you would help us solve the uh, situation in Mexico with uh, Sergeant uh, Tamarisi and also all of our VA hospitals that we may find the words that might motivate people to go and to do what they are born to do, that we might speak the words today of forgiveness and reconciliation, that we would do no harm, that we would only speak words of love and compassion even if those words of love uh, happen to be um, the harsh truth. Let us speak in, uh, let us speak with candor and honesty and in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. From Dallas, good night, America.